I'm ready. Here we go. Hey guys, welcome back to the Wadoc Project 365, episode 50-50. We got, we got uh, obviously our cameraman, Big Pete, right there. He's doing something crazy with the camera. Anyway, what we were talking about last couple days, we hit the outside of the shin. Then we hit just yesterday the inside of the shin. Today, we're going to talk about our backside or specifically the heel cord. So, more specifically, when we talk about the heel cord, we're talking about the Coke bottle, the bottom neck, the neck portion of the Coke bottle, to the heel. Okay? Now, this is a region that gets beat up real bad in all those Olympic lifts, those box jumps, those double unders. Why? Because here's what happens. It takes this whole calf muscle right here, all right, and it transfers the force of these big tissues right here and plantar flexes or pushes the toes down, right? So we can imagine that we're able to put tremendous amounts of force this way. So this sucker has to be strong. It's a gorilla, right? Here's the thing though, is more importantly, it slows down our heel from slamming. So we know that concentric contraction, meaning the muscle shortens as it squeezes, is much less taxing than eccentric, whereas the muscle is lengthening as it's still tightening. That's what happens when we slow our heel down from smacking onto the ground. Eccentric motion, much more taxing to the tissue than concentric motion, causes a lot more of that microfiber tearing, that micro trauma that we get. Anyway, lots of box jumps, lots of double unders. That's gonna have a lots of eccentric calf motion or a lots of eccentric ankle motion. So what do we need to do? We need to treat those tissues properly, mash and stretch. Here's how we do it. We have a bar, notice that this bar here is put on two 45 pound plates. The reason being is A, so it doesn't slide all over the place. B, if you put it on a rack, then the bar won't move. So here's how we do it. We get our calf, we start up here at the neck portion and we're gonna work all the way down. First thing that's gonna happen is all we're gonna do is roll on the knurling so we're not just rolling nowhere. I'm pushing pressure by contracting my hamstring down. And I'm gonna roll up and down. It takes about three seconds to roll up, three seconds to roll down. You can get 30 reps in or so to get your accumulate your, your two minutes. Once I do that, when I want to go and stretch, I mash the tissue, now I want to stretch the tissue. I'm going to find a couple hot spots. I'm going to hold my shin, some pressure downwards on the back of my calf, right? So hold my shin, put some pressure downwards. I'm going to take up the tissue slack by twisting the bar. Once I do that, I'm going to pull my calf up and hold it for a second or two. Relax, move that bar down, put my finger on top, take up some of that slack and repeat the same process. I can work my sway way down an inch at a time and that's how we're going to mash and stretch, reduce any of that tension in that heel cord, improve some of that ankle flexibility and optimize our function because what are we doing? Optimize our function, optimize our, por our, our performance. Uh, your your um, prescription for today, two to four minutes Mash, two to four minutes stretch. Until tomorrow, we'll see you tomorrow. Have a good night, guys. It's late. I'm starting to screw everything up. I'll talk to you tomorrow.